nothing quite compares to the peace and calm of a meteor shower. Everyone loves trying to go out to see streaks of light moving through the nighttime sky, and we've got one of the best shows of the year that's happening tonight. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through all that you need to know to go out and hopefully have the best experience possible to see the Perseid meteor shower. Now let's begin with some tips to go out to maximize your experience for any meteor shower regardless of when it is. The first thing you're going to want to do is get away from as much light pollution as possible. Now I know that's a difficult thing for many of us, but the darker the skies are, the more faint meteors that you'll be able to see to get towards that 50 to 75 meteors per hour max that can sometimes happen with the Perseids when conditions are perfect. The next thing you're going to want to do is get to an open area where you can see as much of the sky as possible. Don't use a telescope, don't use a pair of binoculars, just use your own eyes to look up to the heavens above to see if you can make out the streaks of light that are appearing from particles left over from the comet Swift-Tuttle as the Earth moves through that path as it does about this time every single year. To experience the Perseids in 2022, go outside and look towards the northeast around 11 p.m. on the night of August 12th. There you'll see rising above the horizon the constellation Perseus. Now in most years we would like to see a peak of around 50 to 75 meteors per hour for this show, but sadly a nearly full moon is going to be out in 2022, which is going to diminish the effects of this meteor shower for all of us. So expect rates this year to maybe be more around 20 to 30 meteors per hour, depending on the additional light pollution for wherever you live for your observing. If you were able to get out to see any meteor streaking through the nighttime sky from the Perseids, please let me know about your experience and any questions that you may have in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for your continued support and clear skies from Late Night Astronomy.